Everyone in my family is uh, kind of funny. My dad loves pranks. That's like his favorite. But he was never very good at pranks. I remember my older brother had his first loose tooth. My dad tied a string from his loose tooth to the kitchen doorknob. So my brother and I figured, okay, he's going to slam the door. That's going to remove the tooth. We focused on the door. But that was just misdirection. My dad lit a match and waved it by my brother's face. So he jumped and jerked his face away and ripped that tooth out of his mouth. <laughs> It's not really a prank, Dad. <laughs> I think you just combined fire and dentistry. <laughs> My dad's a big guy. He's actually much bigger than me. He's huge. He, uh, he lives off the coast of Washington State. Doesn't do any social media or the internet. I kind of love it. My dad just loves salmon fishing, berry picking, and naps. Whoa. I know, he might be a grizzly bear. <laughs> When he would yell at me as a kid, I just played dead. It usually worked. <laughs> he loves berry picking. I don't know anyone else. He likes to go out in the woods by himself and pick a bunch of berries, which I'm cool with, but I'm like, man, when you go out there, you better keep your shirt on because some nearsighted trophy hunter is going to bag you, tag you, and mount you in his living room as bare as the day as you were born. <laughs> I just like the idea of some crazy trophy hunter like, oh, check out my collection, everyone. A beaver I shot in British Columbia, a mountain lion I shot in Montana, and now for the crown jewel of my collection, a grizzly bear with alopecia. <laughs> I shot him in a berry patch. <laughs> yeah. I was a tough kid to raise. I only ever got spanked one time, because the first time my dad spanked us, he spanked me and my older brother. And when he spanked my older brother, my older brother just broke down, and he did that little kid ugly foghorn cry. You know that one, where they just lose it, like And they get to the high point, and they run out of breath, but they've never run out of breath before, so they think they're dying, like and it's funny now, but at that time it was horrible. I'm like, oh man, that's, that's, our, that's our dad. He's the man of the house. We need him to respect us. Even the family dog didn't respect my brother after that. He was sitting there like, man, that was tough for me to watch and I couldn't even see it in color, you know? <laughs> so I saw that and I thought, Travis, no matter what happens here, don't cry. You're gonna get spanked, but don't cry. And my dad spanked me and I didn't cry. But I did look back and smile at him. Yeah. You know, I think my little brain was like, well, oh, just look back and give him a cool, confident smile. Just let him know, no tears up here, Papa Bear, dry eyes, right? I know the older son cried, perhaps a promotion is in order. <laughs> That's how my little brain worked, but in real life, I just turned around on my poor dad like a freaky little weirdo, like, ha, 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 What seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> oh. Poor guy. He just walked right in the other room like, honey, we uh, can't spank that one again. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think you liked it. <laughs> It worked out though, man. My dad would never spank me again. And he also never hugged me. <laughs>